Ya! Yeah! <laughs> That's what happened to teacher when he stood and discovered something. All right, another session of hands-on mathematics. Today our topic is inequality. Now our student, what's your name? Ajanta. Okay, Ajanta, what is equality? Let's start with equality. If you understand equality, you should be able to understand inequality. What is equality? Can you give me a hands-on definition? This is a hands-on school, and don't give me a memorized definition. Give me a hands-on definition of equality using all those tools. We have all the tools for hunting, okay? Hi. We are not really hunting. We are, this is a hands-on tools. Okay. So this is a tools, all the tools you have, okay? Show me hands-on definition of equality. Wrong. Try again. Hands-on definition of equality. Okay, try again. You are doing okay. You are doing okay. You are doing okay. Try again. Hooray! This is the equality. That means you have one apple on the left side and you have one apple on the right side. Congratulations, you made it. You didn't give up. Thank you. That attempt. Now, can I make it a little difficult? Sure. All right. Give me the handsome definition of inequality. Good luck. Using the I don't know. I'm not sure. You want to learn? Sure. Okay. All right. So let me put them away. Let's give the student a little bit background. And, and hopefully she will discover. This school is all about discovering mathematics. Not memorization. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to give you one statement. And I want you to show me, show it to me on a uh, number line notation right. and show it to me on interval notation, okay? All right, draw it on this number line. Good luck. I know. One is in the positive, so let's put one right there. Um, now, if we shade it in. Is it open circle or closed circle? It's open. Okay, how do you draw open? Big circle. Okay, very nice. Is it to the right side or to the left? Alright, so the student made a little bit of mistake. She started shading it from inside out. Okay, in the future, keep that in mind. Okay. Inside, you gotta be leave it blank, empty. Does that make sense? Yep. Very good. Now, can you turn it to an interval notation? Good luck. Do it here. I have all the tools. So we know that infinity is positive and the one is positive. So we can use both parentheses. And what inside the parentheses you have to put? We can put one comma infinity. All right, very good. This is correct. Very nice. If we take a number line, okay. This is positive, this is negative, and zero is here. So now if we have one, we can put one right here. Is it open circle or closed circle? It's a closed circle. Okay. Now, what side will we be going? So, when we had the other side, we went 
this way. So we can go this way now. No, no, no. You, is, you have to go, this is greater than a one. Greater than one means it can be one, two, three, four, five, not less than that. Forward. Very nice. Now, can you turn it to interval notation using the tools you have in front of you? All right. I'm going to make all the tools available for you. This is wrong because this is closed circle. So be careful. All right, this is good. So one comma infinity. Very nice. This is closed circle. So this must be bracket. The infinity always open. So this must be? Parentheses. Parentheses. Very good. You are doing okay. Just now, okay? You are, you are doing better. Thank you. All right. Two more to go. Are you feeling like you're discovering something? Yes. Well, hopefully. Don't lie. Okay. All right. Good luck. So this is one, then this is an open circle. And so you're going this way. Is this, how do you read this statement? X is less than one. Very nice. Very good, very good, very good, very good. That's happen when you're discovering something. Okay. All right, now you're going to be showing the interval notation. Okay, so okay. we're going to use, it's a negative, so going to use infinity is always open circle. Infinity always open circle. Open circle. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. There you go. Very nice. Very good. You're doing okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. Now this is your last chance to uh, before uh, before you give me hands on definition of inequality. Okay. okay. Good luck. Good, 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 good luck. So if this is one, oops, close circle. So now we will be going this way. Since Very nice. The student improving. She did not make any mistake. That happened in his discovery in the school. Okay. Now let's see. Let's hope for the best and prepare for the worst. You never know when disaster comes. No, did it. Uh -uh. come on, come on, you made a mistake. This is for open circle. I think that mistake was kind of intentional, right? Yep. Okay, good. Don't lie. Was it intentional? I did it on purpose. Oh, you did it on purpose. Okay. All right. You are ready to give me handsome definition of inequality, right? Yeah, I'm ready. You sure? Yep. Okay. Give me the handsome definition of inequality. Go ahead. Good luck. This is an apple. Okay. This is another apple. Okay. And you put a plus sign. This is the definition of I equality. Mean, equal, equal sign. I ask you to give me definition of inequality. Okay. So, yeah! <laughs> That's correct. Congratulations. Student understood uh, the definition of, handsome definition of inequality. That's what happens when a student discovers something.